So you have a Filipina that's actually responding to a comment from one of these modern American women. And I want you to hear this because boy, she, she roasting. Let's go ahead and review it. Yeah, she's cooking for you every day because she wants to get that green card. Melissa, my friend, even if we don't cook every day, we can still get green card. And have you not noticed that a lot of your people in the Western world, they go to the Philippines to find us Filipina? Yep, that's right. And you know what I discovered in the Western world, especially Western women? Cooking for their husband is a big deal, and apparently it's hard to do. But for Oh, boy. See, now the Filipinas are talking about y'all. They talking. See? See, <laughs> you thought they wasn't going to start talking about y'all eventually, you modern American women, but let's continue. For us Filipina, cooking is nothing. Cooking is super easy thing to do. See, she said that Filipinas are cook. They ain't got no problem with cooking. They said it's super easy to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, see, <sighs> I told y'all the world has gotten smaller. It's gotten so small with globalization. And the internet is definitely was part of, you know, the, uh, the engine that speared a lot of globalization and a lot of things y'all used to can hide. You can't hide no more. And then now you got the men traveling over to the Philippines and then they get with these women and the women start cooking. They're like, wow, you, you don't mind cooking? No. What's wrong with cooking? If I would ask a, a woman in America to cook, she'd be looking at me crazy. Like what? A woman's a woman supposed to cook. Well, why is she not cooking? How are you supposed to feed your family? You're supposed to feed your husband. Your husband is supposed to be in restaurants uh, for other people to be cooking for your husband or other people feeding your children. That's the kind of responses that other people, you know, get. You say, no, I supposed to cook. We supposed to eat at home unless we all go to a restaurant, and eat together like a treat. Right? But they, they clowning y'all now. We can cook everything. And heck, we can even cook our husband if they cheat on us. And I know uh -oh. that a lot of girls here in the Western world, they cook their husband microwavable food. If not, McDonald's and French fries. That's all. Yeah, you heard she said. She said that even if y'all are doing something, y'all just throwing something in the microwave. Somebody else made, which is processed food, which is not good. And then she said, if not that, to mention McDonald's fast food. Boy, and see, that's what a lot of men don't want to put up with no more. No, just like the other video that, that we covered here, where the woman say, well, shoot, I, I washed clothes and I, and I did this, but, but you ain't cooking no food. You're not making a, a, a full course meal. What we married for? I'm not your mama, I'm your wife. And of course, listen, I, I will firmly say this. You don't have to cook anything. You could feel that cooking is slavery and that's, and, and, and do that, do you. But to the men that do, don't want to put up with that, well, this Filipino woman saying, well, you come over here, you ain't gonna have no problem with women cooking for you. Just like that. You can go to African nations too. They got African women, they have no problem cooking. You got women in the Caribbean don't mind cooking either. You got women in Latin America don't mind cooking either. They don't mind. They be throwing down too. And when men get a taste of that, it's nothing you could say. It's nothing you could do. The shaming tactics just not going to work. A man is getting fed a, a constant good home cooked meal. You never could compare that to what you say in, in shaming. Hot air. It don't mean a bunch of nothing. No man should be putting no food in the microwave. That's horrible for microwave food. No, you, you, you burn, you burn that, that, that stove. And you get there and you cook something period those in those cultures, if, if the, it's the man's job to provide, yes, because they believe in traditionalism. So that means the man's supposed to provide the man supposed to provide a household. He's supposed to provide necessities like a roof over the head, car to drive clothes on, on everyone's back, right? The children's back, um, you know, take care of the medical, take care of everything, right? That's what those societies expect out of men. Traditionally don't expect no 50 50 because it's not going to happen. You go out on dates with women like that in other countries, ain't none of this. I'll pay for my own stuff unless they just a little bit more, you know, on something else. But for the most part, they expect traditionalism. And most of these men who are gainfully employed that can't travel and do that, they don't mind paying for anything because it's not going to break the freaking bank to go to a restaurant or even to go buy stuff to cook. It's not going to break the bank in these other countries. I've been to other countries. I know how things is, is inexpensive compared to America. America is hella expensive for everything. I mean, when I went to the, um, 
it was Woolworths out there in uh, Johannesburg. And we went and bought, you know, a couple of items, you know, to, you know, whatever and, and stuff to wash clothes. Or whatever. I'm like, man, look how inexpensive this is compared to America. Or when I went to the pick and pay, when I was out there in Cape town, before I left, you know, to come back, you know, here to Babylon, went and bought a bunch of, bunch, a bunch of food. Didn't cost me much of nothing at all. I love South Africa with, with, with money. You know what I'm saying? Cause I didn't spend much money. We was eating in the restaurants and I'm talking about not only me, I'm talking about me, uh, 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 brother Kelvin and brother Sharif, you know what I'm saying? Th two other grown men eating with me and I still, we still didn't break the bank for nothing, but let me talk about, and they talk about drinking too. We went, we went one time. Let me tell you, I we went to this one place in Johannesburg, um, just down the street and, uh, from my hotel. And we were staying in the Melrose Arch. Those of you that, that's from South Africa, Johannesburg, you know where Melrose Arch is at. We went down there and um, we ate. We had, it was us three. And then we had also Sister Davina and his other sister that was with her. I think her name, what well, they say her name was Melissa, but she, she says call her that, but she had this long South African name. And everybody was eating, everybody was drinking. And the, 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 the bill didn't even come out to like, 70 bucks. And I'm talking about five people eating three course meal with drinks. You can't compete with that. You can't. And then in the grocery stores is inexpensive too. That's what I'm saying. It's like the living overseas for brothers that's gainfully employed and brothers have, you know, ways to have money come in every month where they don't have to be in the U S anymore. It's nothing y'all can say. It's way too much. Um, that's positive than, than the negative. So, yeah, yeah, the, you know, I mean, uh, the Filipina, you know, lady, she climbing y'all now. Yeah, y'all better step y'all game up because more and more men are, are, are you know, taking them flights because they, they want to get them home cooked meals. But yeah, y'all fellas, you know, and ladies, let me know what y'all think about this.